Good afternoon. My name is Tom Pirelli. I'm the Associate Attorney General and uh, third ranking official at the Department of Justice. And my responsibilities include overseeing a number of areas, that, including the, the uh, components that work with state and local law enforcement in a host of areas, but particularly in the area of office, the Office of Violence Against Women. I, I, I see in the audience, and I want to particularly uh, recognize, as Senator Lieberman did, uh, the tremendous work of the advocates in the field, and in particular the folks at the Office of Violence Against Women who do just such extraordinary work in this and a host of other areas. Thank you. I'm honored to stand here with Senator Crapo, Senator Lighthouse, and Senator Lieberman to shine a spotlight on this issue. Um, for the first time this month, when, in February, uh, next month will be commemorated National Teen Dating Violence Awareness and Prevention Month, not just a week. Uh, that wasn't a small feat, and I commend and appreciate the Senate for acting uh, in unanimous passage this week. Uh, teen dating violence is being given the, the prominence and the parity uh, it needs uh, as we look at issues such as domestic violence, sexual assault, stalking, all of which have been uh, noted uh, through an awareness month, and this is the first time that that will be true for teen dating violence. Uh, and we at the Department of Justice intend to use that month to raise awareness and to work with local communities on education to protect young people uh, and to help them work through the, the challenging and difficult problems that they face. Now this comes in the context, again, as Senator Lieberman mentioned, of the 15th anniversary of the Violence Against Women Act. Uh, which is a year that we at the Department of Justice intend to use as a call to action, uh, not just commemorating what has been done in the past, but to renew our commitment to ending violence against women in all of its form. Uh, our government uh, funds programs, uh, 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 works with law enforcement at the state and local level and prosecutes crime, but we also have the responsibility to speak out on these issues. And we've committed ourselves to thinking outside the box uh, not using just the same old techniques and tactics to address this problem, uh, but to look at what we've been doing right and what we've been doing wrong. Uh, one of the things that particularly teen dating violence tells us and focus, should focus us on is that we need to continue to work with the state and local partners and tribal partners that we've been working with for decades. Uh, but most importantly, we need to be working with kids uh, because they have tremendous ideas from uh, starting Teen Dating Violence Week uh, to many of the best ideas in the field here. So we really look forward to working with them as we we know that violence against women is the seed of so many other kinds of violence and so many other problems uh, that children and families face. Teen dating violence affects our most vulnerable people, our young children, many of whom don't know how to identify, prevent, or report it. And we know that if they're the subject of violence or they're exposed to violence, their chances of thriving at home and in school are reduced. Recently, the Attorney General and the Secretary of Education held a forum uh, with students uh, from around the country about promoting healthy relationships. I wish everyone could have been there because these students were so impressive. Uh, one of them, uh, actually a young woman from Providence, Rhode Island, who uh, I'm pretty sure is going to be asking for a job in your office in your White House any day. Uh, That's this recommendation. I think she's got a good shot. You should hire her. Uh, but you know, she was asked by the Secretary of Education, why should this be a top priority given all the other things that the, the problems and issues that the United States faces? Uh, and what she said was, you guys, in reference to two cabinet heads, uh, you guys would be amazed at how much stuff this stuff is intertwined, and added that kids can't be well in school when their outside lives are unhealthy. Work on the social and emotional parts of a child's life, she said, and then academic success will follow. She told us, as I think all the students did, that we have to do better, and that involves working with all of the partners, including kids, and that's something that we at the Department of Justice are very focused on this year and in the coming years because we share a vision where men, women, boys, girls, and communities can live together in a world without fear of violence. Today, thanks to the Senate, we take another important step forward uh, in that effort to raise the profile of teen dating violence and hopefully uh, reduce and end it. Uh, thank you very much to, to everyone here, but particularly to the members of the Senate who have been uh, so critical to this effort. Thank you. Also.